Are you in search of an enchanting destination that combines natural beauty, rich history, and captivating culture? Look no further. Lake Como in Italy beckons with its unparalleled charm and allure. Nestled in the heart of northern Italy, Lake Como is a jewel that has been captivating travelers for centuries. Whether you are a seasoned globetrotter or a first-time explorer, we have a treat in store for you. Join us as we embark on a journey to uncover the top 10 places to visit on Lake Como, where breathtaking landscapes, historic villages, and unforgettable experiences await. So, prepare to be transported to a world of unparalleled beauty as we unveil the secrets of Lake Como's most exquisite destinations. Your adventure begins here. Number 10. Gravdona Gravdona is a small town that sits on the northern side of Lake Como in Italy. It's a peaceful and lovely place to visit. The town is famous for its old buildings and churches that look very historic and pretty. One special church you can see there is called the Church of Santa Maria del Tiglio. It's a very old church with a lot of history. Gravedona is a nice spot to enjoy the calm and beautiful atmosphere by the lake. Number 9. Isola Comasina Isola Comasina is a little island in the middle of Lake Como. You can get there by taking a boat ride. Even though it's a small island, it has an interesting history. You can see some old ruins there, like the remains of the Church of San Giovanni. These ruins are from a very long time ago. Visiting Isola Comasina is a bit like going on an adventure to discover the past, and it's a nice place to escape from the busyness of the mainland and enjoy the peacefulness of the lake. Number 8. Tremezzo Tremezzo is a lovely place in Lake Como in Italy. One special thing about Tremezzo is a beautiful place called Villa Carlotta. This villa is like a big house with fantastic gardens. People who like plants and flowers will enjoy it here. You can walk around the gardens and see many different kinds of plants. So, if you are a fan of pretty gardens and interesting old stuff, Tremezzo's Villa Carlotta is a must-visit place. Number 7. Cernabio Cernabio is another nice town by Lake Como. It's famous for a special place called Villa Diest. This villa is not just a regular house, it's also a fancy hotel. But what makes it special are its gardens. They're like a dream for people who love beautiful outdoor spaces. You can walk in these gardens and feel like you are in a fairy tale world. The villa itself is very old and looks like a palace. So if you want to experience a bit of luxury and see amazing gardens, Cernobio's Villa Dest is a great place to visit. Number 6. Villa del Balbianalo Villa del Balbianalo is a very beautiful and special place in Lake Cobo. It's like a big, fancy house with amazing gardens. People love it not just because it's pretty, but also because it's been in famous movies, like the ones with James Bond. The gardens have different levels like stairs, and they look like they're hanging over the water. It's like a dreamy place where you can explore, relax, and take lots of pictures. So if you're in that area, don't forget to visit Villa del Balbianalo and feel like you're in a movie too. Number 5. Leno Leno is a nice town on the west side of Lake Como. One of the most special things there is Villa Balbianalo. This villa is like a big, fancy house with pretty gardens. People like to visit it because it's super beautiful and peaceful. You can also take a boat ride from Leno to see other cool places on the lake. So, if you want to enjoy a common pretty spot by the water and maybe do some boat exploring, Leno is a great place to go. Number 4. Como Como is the biggest town by Lake Como. It's like the main hub where many people start their journey to explore the area. In Como, there is a really old and beautiful church called the Como Cathedral that you can visit. Also, you can take a ride in something called a funcular. It's like a special train that goes up a big hill called Bronet. From up there, you get to see some of the most amazing views of the lake. And don't forget to take a leisurely walk along the promenade by the lake to enjoy the scenery. Number 3. Menaggio Menaggio is a cozy little town sitting on the western side of Lake Como. It's a wonderful place to visit. You can stroll by the lake in something called a promenade, which is just a fancy word for a nice path along the water. The town has a part with old, historic buildings, and you can find some cool hiking paths nearby. If you like the outdoors, you'll enjoy the easy access to these trails. So, Menaggio is all about peaceful walks, enjoying the lake, and maybe even doing a little bit of hiking if you're up for it. Number 2. Verana Verana is another lovely village by the lake, but it's on the eastern side of Lake Como. Like Bellagio, Verana is famous for its colorful houses, beautiful gardens, and a special place called Villa Monastero, which is like a fancy old house with amazing views. 
Warana is perfect for a quiet and peaceful day by the lake, and it feels like a hidden gem waiting to be discovered. So, if you're looking for a peaceful and pretty place to visit, Warana is a great choice. Number 1. Bellagio Bellagio is a picturesque town situated at the nexus of Lake Como's three branches, making it one of the most renowned destinations on the lake. Often referred to as the Pearl of Lake Como, Bellagio is celebrated for its postcard-perfect views of the lake and the surrounding mountains. Visitors can enjoy strolls along the waterfront promenade, visit the historic Villa Melzi with its splendid gardens, and savor the enchanting atmosphere that has captivated travelers for centuries. And there you have it, folks. If you enjoyed exploring the beauty of Lake Como with me, don't forget to show your appreciation by hitting that thumbs up button, dropping a comment about your favorite spot, and subscribing for more captivating travel content.